Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showing you how you can go from this to this using Reshade. Now, this is a pretty simple tutorial, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, so first things first, head over to reshade.me. There will be a link down in the description. It's going to be right here. Go ahead and click a download. That's going to bring you to the bottom of the screen. They do have a quick start setup right here, but what you're going to do is you're going to click a download reshade 4.9.1. After you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it up. And then it's gonna bring this little pop-up. You're gonna click click here to select game and manage its reshade installation. Click that, you're going to pick the game that you wanna do because when you use reshade, you actually install it per game, not just on the system. So scroll down till you find Car X Drift Racing. Here it is right here, we're gonna click that. Then we're going to click use selected application. Now it says which rendering API does Drift Racing Online use? CarX uses the Direct 3D 10, 11, 12. So after you click that, it's going to bring up what effect packages you want to install. You do not have to install all these, however you can. Um, I have most of these installed. However, the main ones that you're going to want are going to be the Quint color effects, the Sweet effects, and the standard effects. So I'm gonna go through and install all of them. However, if you want to see exactly what they are, you can click on the name itself and it will bring up the web page for those effects. So I'm going to open all of them. There we go. And then after you have that, go ahead and click OK. And now it's simply just going to install and it's going to ask you to select which individual files from each effect pack you want to install. I have them all checked off. So we're going to click OK, OK, OK. And it's just going to do it for each one of those effect packages. All right, so now you've done that, reshade setup was successful. So now all you're gonna do is close this out, close this out, we're gonna go into Steam, and then open up CarX. Now, if you have installed it correctly, it's going to have this at the top of your screen. It's gonna say reshade 4.9.1, and it's gonna say reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. All right, so you got Reshade all installed and your game is now up and running. So go ahead and click the home button on your keyboard. Now that is gonna bring up the Reshade menu. Now your menu is not gonna look like this. The first time you open it, it's gonna give you the option to do a tutorial. Go ahead, do the tutorial, get familiar with the basics of the menu. Then once you do that, go ahead into your settings and you can see right here where it says the effect toggle key. Go ahead and click that and key bind that to any button that you're not using for something else. And what that's gonna do is allow you to toggle the effects of reshade on and off really easily. After you have that, go ahead and head into your home. Here you can see all the different effects that you can use with the reshade. Now, these are the ones that I'm using. I will leave a file in the description of this video if you guys wanna try out my preset. This is what I like. Feel free though, play around with it, find what you like. And you can also go down here to the edit global preprocessor definitions and you can edit each individual setting of each effect to really hone in and pinpoint exactly the way that you want your game to look. So there you have it. Pretty easy to install. Not a whole lot to it. Just remember guys that reshade can be very demanding on your GPU. So if you find that you're having uh, performance issues with your system, go ahead and toggle those effects off or even uninstall it if your PC cannot handle it. With that said guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it if you did or if this video helped you do me a favor hit that like button and if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more content just like this thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one